All right, today we have a new semi-flexible solar panel from All Powers. Let's open it up. All right, so we have a packet that has, looks like an MC4 to XT60 cable, some Velcro straps, and a manual. All right, and there is the panel. So yeah, it is uh, flexible, has these metal grommets here on the sides. So we've got one, two, three, and four on each side. Obviously that's what those Velcro straps are gonna be used for. In the top layer where the cells are encapsulated is this honeycomb ETFE material. Uh, so this stuff is supposed to capture more light at angles. And on the back side here, we've got the specifications. It's a 200 watt flexible panel. Our open circuit voltage is 38.4 volts. Our short circuit current is 6.87 amps. Our maximum power point voltage is 32 volts. The maximum output current is 6.25 amps. The maximum system voltage can be 120 volts. It is 22 to 25 percent efficient. All right, well, let's hook this up to something and see what we get. All right, so I've got two of these panels wired in parallel right here. And it is super clear outside. We got some great sun. The sun is pretty much directly overhead. So let's plug them in to the R1500 and see what we get. All right, it's plugged in. There we go, we got some power coming in now. Over 200 watts now. All right, so we're seeing 249. Looks like we're kind of topped out at about 247. I was kind of expecting more than that. Hmm. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to try them in series, uh, but I can't do them in series on this unit, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to use a different unit. I'll be right back. Okay, so I busted out the All Powers R2500 to do the series test because this one will support up to 150 volts on the PV input, whereas the uh, R1500 uh, caps out at 60. So if I put these panels in series, that would exceed the 60 volts. So we don't want to do that. So we'll use it on the R2500. So let me go ahead and put these in series. All right, so now we've removed these parallel branch connectors and they're just running series. So let's check our voltage. And we have 66.73 volts coming out of those series panels, which is perfectly fine for this station. So let's go ahead and plug them in. There we go. We've got power coming in. Yeah, now we're getting some better power in. Look at that. Almost 300 watts. Yeah, so we tapped out around like around 
250-ish when they were in parallel with the R1500. And now we're pushing 300. I actually just saw 299. There it is, there's a 300, 301. Yeah, so we're getting about 300 watts now with them in series. Interesting. Wonder what it looks like if we place them back in parallel on the R2500 now. Okay, so I got them back in parallel. Let's go take a look. All right, so our wattage is climbing back up. And like, uh, yeah, so we're just getting slightly over 250, well, 270 now. Two seventy-seven. So it certainly is better with them in series. Let's go back to series once more. Okay, so we're back to series. We are climbing back up. You know, 291, 293. Yeah, still up. Uh, yeah, pushing 300 watts again. So, <laughs> yeah, you're better off in series, that's for sure. <laughs> now, it is like really hot out today. <laughs> Let's douse these things down with some water and see if we get some better results. All right, here we go. Cool them down. Now let's go take a look. Oh yeah, 310. 312. I just saw 314. Yeah, we should, I just saw 316. Yeah, there we go, 316. Briefly. All right, and lastly, let's kind of take a look at the bendiness of these. So this is the bending back long ways. So pretty good before that's starting to feel like it's giving me a little bit of resistance so you definitely can bend it pretty well and then we got some flex in this direction not bad and then the front here yeah pretty good i mean i definitely think it's flexible enough for most applications that you would need some kind of flexible panel all right guys so i think that's going to be it let me know what you think about these flexible panels. I'll leave links down in the description and I'll catch you on the next one.